Hi, welcome back to The Fame Show, where F stands for financing, A, attitude, M, marketing, and E, entertainment law. I'm your host, Dr. Monroe Mann, entertainment attorney, got my MBA in finance, masters of entrepreneurship, blah, 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 and I'm sharing this all with you so that you can help yourself kick ass in life, entrepreneurship, show business, whatever other awesome endeavors you got going on. So today we're going to be talking about uh, the A, which is attitude, and today's uh, topic is why. So why do you need to succeed? Seems like a simple question, but I really want to ask you something. I want you to really think about why. Why is it important that you need to succeed? Because just saying, oh, I want to, I want to uh, you know, share my talent with the world, or I really, my, my coffee's so great, I know people are going to buy it. That's not a big why. It needs to be so strong that nothing will deter you from getting there. For example, why do I want to become a world-renowned public speaker motivating people around the world? Because I want to save lives. When I say save lives is I want to give hope to people. I want people to realize that the dream within them can be drawn out of them regardless of society's opinion, regardless of family members' opinions. I want to be the person who inspires people to go after their dreams. And I know that I can do so much more good if I'm in a stadium of millions of people than if I am on a YouTube channel with 230 subscribers or something, which is what I've got right now. That's my why, because I know I have something amazing to share with the world, not for me, but for other people. So if you're an actor and you say, oops, because I want to share my talent with the world, I like making people laugh or I like baby, that's not enough. It's got to be, I know that when people see me acting, they leave with a better sense of who they are. And the smile on their face translates to increased self-esteem and confidence. It cannot be about you. Bam, bam, bam. No, you are unimportant when it comes to your why. Your why needs to be something that just draws people in. Not only that, it needs to be something that draws you out. Your why needs to be something that allows you to move forward regardless. Because when the going gets tough, and the tough is gonna get going, there's a great Billy Ocean song. When the going gets tough, the tough get going. That tough, the tough that gets going is your why. Nine out of 10 people who start a business or get involved with entrepreneurship or show business, acting, music, singing, they quit after about a year or two. Some people linger on for another decade or two, but they really aren't pushing hard. They've essentially given up. Why? Because their why is not important. Too many people just do not have a necessity to succeed. Do you? Do you have a necessity to succeed? That's the question you really need to ask yourself. I mean necessity. How important that why needs to be. It needs to be life or death. Because otherwise, you're just going to waste 30, 40 years of your life pretending and gallivanting around, pretending like you're an entrepreneur, pretending that you're an actor, pretending that you're a rock band. But you're not really going to be doing what's necessary because the urgency is not there. It needs to be life or death. Why do you need to succeed? And you should write it down and figure it out. And again, it cannot be about you. It needs to be about helping other people. The more your why can be about others, the better. I know that there are people giving up on their dreams right now, but if I could get in a room with them, they would continue going. So if this stuff, stuff inspires you, please subscribe. Please share it with your friends. Please like, please comment, post what your dreams are. What is your why? Let's get a discussion going here. Why? But why is my heart drawing me in that direction? If you don't figure it out, the only way you're going to succeed is by sheer luck. Random dice, dice rolls. And I don't want that to be the case. Sure, if you succeed through that method, wonderful, congratulations. I hope it happens to me too. But you and I are both idiots if we actually think that we're going to magically win the lottery with our business, with our, our show business or entertainment endeavors, with our big dreams. Dreams don't just magically come true. You have to work your ass off to make them happen. And so I'm just giving you one psychological tool to make that happen. Figure out your why. See you next time.